Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Get that big steak cooker. So I wanted to film this video as a bit of a disclaimer. This is a new format that I'm trying. It's kind of the first time that I've actually had a chance, or I've tried this, um, and I'm gonna be refining the process over in the future. The goal is to kind of apply a lot of the techniques and ideas that I've been learning on how to race faster, and then just kind of work through them on camera. So this particular video ended up being pretty long, uh, but I think you'll find that there's a lot of useful information in it. So if you can spare the time to watch the whole thing, go ahead. If you can't, whatever. Regardless, I hope that if at the worst, it kind of changes the way you think about it just a little bit. Good evening. I've got a little bit of a different video than the usual for you guys tonight. Um, instead of being out doing flying or doing a vlog or something, I'm actually going to be breaking down some flight footage and talking about what could have been better or worse um, for that entire flight. So I'm actually going to walk you through the course, walk you through every single lap of that course and kind of tell you different things about what I should have done better, what did go well, and uh, just my thoughts on how I could have improved uh, for the next time. And I hope that this kind of content is useful to you, so you let me know what you think. So we're going to zoom in on our race course from Sunday evening. All right, and we're too far out. This is the course that we set up. This is one of my favorite flying spots. Uh, you've probably seen videos from it before. Um, I sit right next to my car over here. Um, this happens, it's just nice to be able to fly from your car because I am lazy and I want to be as close to my charging and all of that stuff as possible. So we take off and we head out this way. We go counterclockwise around the course. The, the course kind of goes down and ducks underneath the trees. There's like some benches and stuff back here. Um, we weave around one tree here and back out and around this bigger tree, come down through around this guy through one gate, which is here around back around hook around this tree go through a low gate hook around another tree go through another gate and we're back around the course so it's a pretty simple course pretty easy to do um <clears throat> but we uh it's 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 easy to set up and there's lots of natural obstacles so all we need are the three gates and a bunch of cones so let's pop open the flight footage here there it is um, so I'm just going to go step through this kind of frame by frame and talk about like, you know, these are the things that I should have been doing differently. These are the things that I should have been doing better. These are and kind of get through it. So I take off, <clears throat> do a little bit of showboaty kind of, you know, the equivalent of like shaking the tires on, um, uh, you know, a, a racing car, like, you know, trying to warm up the tires, get a feeling for the quad, make sure that I'm ready to go. So I hit in and I start my first lap. I'm going to take this lap a little bit slower than the next few because I want to make sure that I'm ready to go, that everything's locked in, and that I'm not going to crash out and do something stupid. I'm not actually racing anyone at this point, and that's kind of a mistake, um, which we'll get into a little bit later. But it's uh, I we're, we're, we have a good start. It's going to be fun. So this first section is one of the most tricky, in my opinion, um, because what happens is that you're tilted left, you know, you've got this big, big, you know, that's like a 45 degree bank going in across these picnic tables. And you have to maintain that bank and then switch back to the other side and come around a tree for a hairpin turn. So I come through this, you know, I'm avoiding the ceiling there. I'm avoiding the ground and I'm avoiding those picnic tables. Now I hook around this tree and my the, the ideal race line is to be as close to that tree as possible. I am five feet away from it. So, it, because when I come for this hairpin turn, look at my momentum now. I'm headed straight at that tree. So I'm coming around this tree, and now I am completely perpendicular to my line of momentum. I'm using my props as a break because I don't want to keep shooting out past behind the tree. Um, but now I have literally wasted every single ounce of momentum that I've got. So now I have to throttle up, throttle up, still moving backwards, still throttling forwards. Now I'm finally moving forwards. And I've wasted a bunch of space. I've wasted all of my momentum because I couldn't follow that correct race line. So now I'm going to shoot back towards this tree and, oh, look, suddenly we have gone from 
you know, three feet above the ground to six feet above the ground, seven feet above the ground. And as we all know, the fastest distance between two points is a straight line. I have made this a parabola because now I'm at the height of that branch up there and I've got to get down below it. So now I'm coming around this corner, dropping speed, dropping altitude, preparing myself for this turn instead of just doing the turn. So it's ridiculous that I would have gone up and down trying to get through that turn. So, but I actually execute that turn fairly well, come through, lined up perfectly with the gate. And as soon as I hit the gate, I drop my nose and add speed because I have this wide open space to get to this next tree. Hook around the tree, come a little wide, not, not nothing serious there, but look, I've now gained four or five feet when I should have just put all of that speed straight in and pushed on through. So now I'm coming up in this tree, fine, I hook, and look how far away from the race line I am. <clears throat> I've got seven, eight feet that I have shot off to the right side, I am too high for the gate, because the gate's only five feet tall, and I am now, you know, seven, eight feet off the ground. So now I have to both correct inwards and drop altitude. And oftentimes, the only way to drop altitude is to drop throttle, which also drops speed. So... I should have taken that turn, hooked low, stayed on the race line, and come through straight at that gate. Instead of going way high, coming way low, and just flying in. So now I am, I'm almost at a 45 degree angle here. I have finally, after about 10 feet, straightened out, and I'm shooting down towards the gate. Okay, this is good. I'm on track, and I actually do a pretty good job of realigning myself for that next turn, which is behind that big tree in front. So... <clears throat> come through I'm shooting at the tree this is actually pretty good so I come through and I have now aimed myself at this gate and you could see that as I'm coming through this tree I'm already I'm not looking at the tree anymore I'm looking at that next gate instead of looking at the tree because I know that I need to line myself up perfectly to head through that gate I swing a little bit wide because now I have to make a 45 degree correction back towards this next tree um, but here it is I mean here it is again I'm I'm at the gate, I'm already starting to bank before I even go through that gate for that next tree. And now coming out of the gate, I can just blap on the throttle and fly straight at the tree. So now I'm shooting towards the tree, you know, get a little bit high, so I've got to come off the throttle and do this long, wide sweeper back to this start. <clears throat> now, like I said before, we're now at a 45 degree angle heading into a a ceiling and ground cover and picnic tables so i'm kind of going i this the, that's the worst case scenario so this that this section ended up becoming one of the most tricky parts to get right because of all of those variables that you're following so again i'm way past that tree i'm shooting i'm flying straight at that big tree so i've got to continue to correct to the right and i blow it wide you can see how far i come out here wasting so much time so if i what, so again, if I come back here, I get real close to that tree, so I have this straight shot back to the <clears throat> that hairpin turn, I would do a better job of carrying my momentum, but I waste it all, again. So, you know, you've, my line of momentum is coming straight down, my, my line of momentum is this way, but now I'm headed out this way, so I have to, so I'm coming through, and now my momentum is all going this way, and my thrust is all going this way, so I'm totally wasting every single ounce of momentum that I've got completely ridiculous right but it's not something that you're thinking about in the split second that you're flying it because i mean at real time here it is you know it's you're not spending a ton of time doing it but it's wasting valuable time so now we shoot back towards the tree and this is actually pretty good so i come through I, I gain a little bit of height, you know, now I'm still parallel with that ceiling, so I've got to drop a bit, but that's okay because in a bank, you're going to lose altitude if you're not on the throttle. So I kind of let off the throttle a little bit and come around, come through, hook the tree. You can see the nose dip there, <clears throat> come around this one, a little bit wide, and actually this is a pretty bad turn because I've come around and now, bam. I have completely wasted all of my momentum, I'm totally fighting myself, and now I have to complete my throttle up to push towards that next tree. <clears throat> so I hit that, but yeah, so then, da, 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 boom, hit the branch. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm flying Dal V2s, so I continue to stay in the air, give it a quick test flick, and then head back towards this tree. I come around this tree, and this is perfect. I cannot emphasize enough. So if you if you watch exactly where the center of the camera is, it's focused dead on in that tree. It's dead on on the ground. I have perfect um, 
angle all the way through. I'm continuing, and then as soon as I snap back up, look, I'm headed straight for that gate. I'm at the right altitude, and I did not waste any bit of momentum going through that. So now I head back through the gate, head through this tree, way, way, way wide. So now I have to make 70 degrees to head back towards that next tree. So we have to come through... I have to come through straight. I have to come through at 45 degrees. I'm not yet able to line up for that next tree because I have come so wide. So now if I, so I have to come through and then switch 45 degrees and I'm climbing altitude because I had a sloppy turn and now I'm dropping altitude, wasting time and getting to that next tree. So I hook around, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know, again, back to this tricky section, come through, look at that, eight, nine feet between me and that tree. Headed straight at this hairpin turn. I almost smash into it and I swing way wide. Look at that. 15 feet that I've wasted that I can't get back. I drop. I stay actually at a pretty good altitude. Hook around this corner. Come through the gate and nose drop. Hook around this tree. Way too wide. But in this particular course, that's actually a little bit okay because I'm kind of forming a new line. Come around again. A little bit high. So I don't have that perfect center on the tree. I lose the turn right there on this frame because now the turn is way behind me and I'm way over. I have to way over correct by look at this. I'm looking 90 degrees to my momentum, trying to get myself pushed back onto the course, 90 degrees. And I'm pointed almost at the ground, trying to push myself back towards that gate. So now, you know, and that manages to line me up, but look at this now. In order to get this through this gate without accidentally hitting that log they're holding down the gate, I have to hook. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now I'm going. Now my now my thrust, which is coming out the bottom of the quad, is now pushing me away from the turn that I need to be making next. <clears throat> hook around and yoink. Pretty good. Now I'm coming through this gate. I'm already. I mean, look at this. I'm six, seven, eight feet from the gate, and I'm already starting to line up my next turn with that tree up there. Boom. Coming through. Dead on target for the next turn. Okay, so again, tricky section. Way wide of that tree. Straight at that tree. And again, way too high, way too long. And I'm coming around the tree. <clears throat> coming back at this one. It's a little bit low, still good. Look at that nose drop, though. As soon as I'm hitting that gate, before I'm even going through it, the nose is starting to come down, and I'm pushing it. This is, this is a great way of carrying momentum. So n never am I fighting my momentum. I'm always at like a 45 degree turn, adding and carrying momentum around the tree. So instead of directly going 180 and coming around that hairpin, I'm carrying my momentum around real close to it and getting up set up for the next tree. So same difference here, coming around, hook, and pretty good height, a little bit to the right, a little bit high, so I have to drop down, but boom, I'm now lined up for the next turn, directly zero degrees straight on. Come around, whew, way too wide. Now I've got almost a 90 degree turn to make, but I do a pretty good job of, before I'm even hitting the gate, look at that, I'm already starting to yaw through the gate for that next turn. Come around, come around, Okay, we're back in this tricky section, almost hit the trees up there, snap around, way too wide, headed straight for the tree, and whoa, way wide. Still, same thing, I could not figure it out. I knew while I was practicing that this was a problem spot for me. Coming at the tree, good enough, good enough, good, nose drop, fly through, hook, carry that momentum. Look at that, This, I, I mean, this is perfect. I'm 45 degrees to my momentum, carrying all of my speed through that turn and just slamming on the throttle. I come straight at this and because, so you can see right here, my momentum is, or, or the, the momentum that I'm adding is actually at that, I don't know, pig pen or whatever it is, not at the tree. And as a result, when I get to the tree, I'm still carrying myself sideways and I've missed the turn. You can see that I'm, that the center of screen is well past the the tree trunk that I'm trying to make. And so now I'm coming way, 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 way wide and I'm coming down back in. So I've got to kind of fight myself to get back in, but you know what? That's fine. That's okay. Cause I was able to make such a good turn before. So now that was, this is perfect here. Come through. I've got that tree right in center. And as soon as I know that that gate is lined up because I want to keep that angle as shallow as possible, look, level out, come straight at it. 
hook, and then again, before I'm even through the gate, I'm already focused on that next turn. I don't care about this one anymore, I'm focused on that next one. And I'm getting through as fast as possible. Again, boom. Little bit closer there, but what I, and yeah, it's just, it's just horrible. I can't, I cannot, I could not figure it out. Like I almost hit the tree there, you know, that's within inches. And I come, and now I'm st I'm still correcting for the turn, still correcting, still correcting, still correcting, still correcting, totally fighting all of my momentum, totally fighting all of my momentum, starting to gain momentum in the other direction, and now I'm on my way. Good, fine, nose down, fine, through, way too wide. So I have not carried my momentum because, look, I made the turn too early. And now I'm fighting my all of my momentum right there just to slow down. And still I'm yeah, I'm 90 degrees to the turn that I need to be making. Too high. So I've got to drop, recorrect, and fly through. And now I hook around this tree. Come down. Pretty good. I came too close to the inside of this gate. I think if I remember correctly, I actually heard the prop hit on that uh, foam. So I could not yet start to correct for that, to make that left turn. So I had to go, I had to fly through, shoot wide. Look at this, I'm over the softball field or the volleyball field now. And now I'm finally making my turn back in for that sweeper. Come around the sweeper. I think this is the last lap. Uh, you know, we're good there, pretty good. And look at this, nice and close to that tree. My momentum is not carrying at this final tree yet, right now. And so I'm able to lock in that turn early. Look at this. I'm looking straight at that tree trunk, carrying it around, and I have gained, comp maintained all of my momentum all the way through. Let's look at this again in real time. So I, there's, there's no wasted momentum, and I'm able to take that hairpin turn, keeping my speed all the way through. Hook around, come all the way through. And back into this gate a little high there unfortunately um just because i wasn't used to actually hitting that turn right come around hook shoot at this tree hook pretty good actually you know so again you've got that tree locked in the dead center of frame until you know that you're on that next race line changing directions changing height i've got the height right i drop my nose to maintain altitude instead of just lowering throttle so instead of lowering the throttle, I'm actually dropping my nose and using that as my method of pushing forward. And now I shoot at this gate. I had to over, I had to correct a little bit to the left right there. You can see I pitch back to the left, but then I hook back in. I'm coming around this tree a little bit wide, but I kind of, I was able to kind of juice it right there, which kind of brings me back to the right and down and through. And that's it. So yeah. So, th I mean, this is this is way overdone, too much information for breaking down one flight, but this is the kind of thought process that you should be having on the fly, huh, good pun, on the fly as you're going through uh, your course. And, and, if, and if you're thinking about this and you're adjusting for all of those issues, then you're going to be able to continually push yourself to go just a little bit faster. And if you can go just a little bit faster, you're going to be just a little bit more winning. And that is what you need. So I hope that this was useful. I hope that this was fun. Continue to think about how you fly and how you should be flying, and you, you will immensely recognize how your performance will improve. Thank you very much. Keep flying. Strike one if you like fun. I get up in your head and do some damage like some fire rum. I'm a python, get the mic on and I swallow MCs as the ass trip about where I'm from. Strike two, sip it, my brew. Vaccinations can't stop me from getting this high you. Call me swine flu, call me white flu. Sick as a Hitchcock flick plus high as my IQ. Strike three, you can find me on the rhyme street. Hold on tightly, don't take it lightly. Strike